Hey guys, I'm back. Time to jump into some more Sonic 3 and Knuckles by making our way through Flying Battery Zone. So here we are, Flying Battery Zone. One can draw parallels between Wing Fortress Zone of Sonic 2. The only difference between Flying Battery Zone and Wing Fortress Zone is the fact that Flying Battery Zone is actually considerably longer. And there's also the fact that you don't go to the Death Egg after you complete this level. You go to Sinapolis Zone. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Let's see if I can get up here. Yeah, you can't actually access this if you're playing strictly as Sonic. You can only access this if you're playing as Sonic and Tails, Knuckles, or Tails. Free Lightning Shield and free Invincibility. Flying Battery Zone is actually one of my favorite levels. It's actually pretty fast paced. It keeps you on your toes. And it's just overall fun. Be careful here. You can actually die. Thankfully, as Tails, though, we have a little bit of a safety net with his flying ability. And if there's any shield you strictly want for this level, interestingly enough, it is the flame shield. Because they'll protect you from the flamethrowers here. And they actually serve as a bouncy platform. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Eh, no. We're at 50 rings, though. Now I can't fly without activating my super form. Ah! Come on. Come back down. Thank you. Also, don't hit the bottom of these platforms. You can lose any shield that you have. Come on. Thank you. Fun platforming section. Ah. You gotta be very careful with those, uh movable platforms, they can actually crush you between the pipe here. Stay on the top of them, obviously. Also be very careful with animal prisons here. Just because it looks like an animal prison doesn't mean it is. Yeah, some of them will release enemies. And obviously don't hit the propellers. Be patient while proceeding through here, because you can actually get crushed. Do I want to access these secrets here? Eh, why not? Yeah, once you get 50 rings, if you try to fly, you'll activate your super form. Honestly though, it's not nearly as bad as it sounds. I'm actually kind of glad they did the uh, double tap activation. I can't count how many times I died in Wing Fortress Zone alone because I tried to jump as Sonic and it activated a super form. Because in Sonic 2 you had a single tap activation. Once you had 50 rings it would automatically activate. Woohoo! Come on. Thank you. Yeah, be very careful with these missiles here. If you're not in super form, they can actually cause you to lose your shield and or lose your rings. Come on. This mini boss is pretty easy. It's basically... It has to hit itself, I think, about six times before it kills itself. Well, 
That didn't make loads of sense, but that's okay. Maybe it's four. No, it's six. Basically, if you're not in a super or hyper form, you basically need to move between the arms. Like that. Once it hits itself six times, you're good to go. Yeah, pretty much Flying Battery is filled with self-defeating bosses. Except for the final boss. But he... But the final boss is actually laughably easy. Ugh. Yeah, there's a secret path off to you right there. If you want to go for it, go for it. Whoa. Uh, well, I can't go back for that now. Yeah, that was my favorite bonus stage. I just ran past. Brilliant. Anything. Well, yeah, I can't talk this morning. Anyway, one interesting thing to note about Flying Battery Zone, it was actually originally meant to be in Sonic 3. Basically, what was supposed to happen was that the cannon in Carnival Night Zone was supposed to shoot you to Flying Battery Zone. Then once you obviously beat Flying Battery Zone, then you would um, basically bust out and head down to uh, Ice Cap Zone. Now, I'm not entirely sure why they decided to move it into Sonic and Knuckles. One of the more prominent hypotheses I heard was the fact that they moved it in order to balance out Knuckles' um, storyline. If you take Flying Battery out and move it to where it was originally supposed to be, Knuckles would only have about three levels that he would progress through fully. That being Mushroom Hill, Synapolis, and Lava Reef. With Flying Battery Zone, though, that would make four levels, versus Sonic 6. Actually, that kind of explains why he doesn't have... when well, Knuckles doesn't have a Knuckles-only path in Flying Battery. Oh. Glitch or what? I don't know. I'm not gonna question that. Oh boy. Yeah, be very careful with these, um, I guess you can say elevator platforms. They can crush you. And crushing doesn't do anybody any good. No, that would pretty much ruin your day. Yeah. Let's go for a ride. Ow, hey. Damn techno squeak. Ugh. I don't want to lose my rings, but maybe I'll find. Oh hell yes. We'll take that. Yes, we will.
Well, I was going to see if I can get a shield, but apparently not. But I'll take that, though. Come on. Magnif- or magnetize, thank you. Whoa. Holy crap. What was that? Avoid any dangerous hazards here. Yes! Meet an homage. Yeah, this is an homage to the flying or er, wing fortress zone boss. Only difference is, is you can't defeat it. It's another one of the self-defeating bosses, so hang out in the corner here if you're in a super or hyper form and call it a day. Let Eggman stupidly defeat himself. And watch the flickies of doom at work. Come on, defeat yourself, please. Thank you. Yes, that's a giant w time waster. Ah, uh, come on. Okay, my flickies just left. Interesting. That's fine, though. I'm still in super form. I think. Yeah, my rings are still counting down. Come on. Be very careful, those um, spikes can still hit you if you don't have a shield, and you can lose your rings at the very end. Anyway, here we are. We're at the animal prisons, so it's time to wrap this episode up. I'm going to call it here. I hope everybody enjoys this, and I shall see you in the next episode, which will be Synapolis Zone.